Welcome back everyone, this is the second game from this Fiddler Shanklin match in Hoochveen's Netherlands. For those of you that missed the first game, Shanklin managed to beat Fiddler quite convincingly. Fiddler, of course, has not been himself lately. He played quite poorly in the European Club Cup, but we all know how strong of a player he is, and a wounded lion is always very dangerous. In this game, Svitler has white, so he is definitely going for a win. Svitler opens with the English opening. We have c5 from Shanklin, knight f3, knight c6, knight to c3, g6, black wants to fianchetto this bishop, white plays e3, preparing to strike with d4. Knight f6, d4, c takes d4, e takes d4, and d5 from Shanklin hoping to isolate this d-pawn. So here, Svitler takes on d5, knight takes d5, queen to b3, attacking the knight, knight takes c3, and here b takes c3 is playable, but Svitler goes bishop c4, which puts more pressure on black's position. Now looking at this pawn on f7. So we have e6, and then Svitler takes the knight. Bishop d7. And here bishop b5 from Svitler. So here if uh, Svitler were to play a normal move like castles, then knight to a5 would win a piece. Um, this squares a4 and b4 are covered by black's bishop, so this queen cannot defend the bishop. So after bishop d7, Svitler goes bishop b5 prompting black to play a6. And now bishop e2, and this creates a weakness on b7. Svitler, uh, sorry, Shanklin goes knight to a5, attacking the queen and also at the same time defending the pawn of b7. Queen b1, keep it, keeping taps on the b7 pawn, rook to c8. So here if black goes bishop g7, then bishop to a3 stops black from castling. So rook c8 from Shanklin, white castles, and f6. So it's almost like black is saying that he has given up castling in this position. So f6 makes, uh, makes way for the king to come to f7, and also takes away this e5 square from the knight. So here, if black were to take this pawn, then bishop b2, and after rook retreats, then white has d5, opening up a discovery on this rook on h8. And if rook g8, then rook d1, simply threatening to take here and open up the king, where black has to take with the f pawn because the bishop is pinned, uh, pinned to the queen. So here, if e takes d5, then rook takes d5, with this king stuck in the center, this is just bad for black. So here after f6, black is simply threatening to take this pawn on c3, because the idea of bishop to b2 followed by d5 doesn't work anymore. Since this pawn is now on f6, it blocks the long diagonal. So here's Fiddler plays c4. So b6 here from Shanklin. Here if knight takes c4, then simply you can take on b7. And after a5, bishop f4, white has a lead in development and black's position seems very suspect. So here b6 and c5 from Svitler uh, with the idea of trying to open up the d file since black's king is still stuck in the center. So we have b takes c5, d takes c5, bishop takes c5, so here one idea is to play bishop h6, stopping black from castling. But uh, Svitler goes bishop takes a6, which is also a good move. And rook to b8, moving out of the attack and also attacking white's queen. So white plays queen to c2, queen to b6, protecting the bishop, also attacking white's bishop, bishop d3. And here king f7 seems like the most natural move in the position stopping any sacrifices on g6 and also controlling oops controlling this g7 square in case the queen ever tries to sneak in on h6 but here black played 
king to e7, which I'm not sure why, maybe just to protect this bishop. Bishop f4 from Svitler. And black's pieces seem very loose, and he, if he is not careful, things could go wrong. So here the rook is under attack. Rook c8, and black is still okay, but definitely a bit worse. But here Shanklin plays bishop to d6. So after that is taken, then Svitler goes rook f to d1, and now white has tremendous play down the open d file. Queen b6 stepping out of this uh, dangerous line. Uh, here rook a to b1, again harassing the queen, queen to a7, and queen to d2 from Svitler just staring down this d file. Also looking at uh, h6. And now with black's king on e7, this comes back to haunt him. Bishop a4, attacking the rook. Svitler trades rooks, and then queen to h6. If black takes the rook on d1, then after queen takes h7 check, white wins black's queen. So rook to f8 from Shanklin, preparing to meet queen takes h7 with rook to f7. Svitler plays rook to c1, just stepping out of the attack, and also with potential coming down the c file. Rook f7, queen to f4 now from Svitler which hits this bishop and also threatening rook c7, which would win black's queen. So knight to c6, the only defense, bishop e4 attacking the knight twice, and here knight to d4 would have allowed black to continue on for a bit longer. After queen d2, knight takes f3, bishop takes f3, black is still alive, uh, but definitely a bit worse. But here g5 from Shanklin, queen d2 from Spittler, and queen to b6, just protecting this knight here. Here knight to d8 would have offered more resistance, but this is still very difficult for black. So here Spittler goes queen c3, attacking this knight three times, and king to d7 defending. So if instead of defending, let's say black goes knight a5 or knight to e5, then here queen to a3 picks up this bishop. And if knight b4, then rook b1 pins the knight and white wins a piece. So that is why Shanklin played king to d7, but here king, uh, queen to d3 check. So here if king to e7, then queen a3 check again comes with an attack on this bishop. And if that is defended, queen b4, then white simply takes, followed by rook to c4, and white wins a piece. So here we have king to c7 from Shanklin, but queen to c4 from Svitler. Looking at this bishop, and also the pawn on e6, and Shanklin resign. If black goes bishop b5, then simply queen takes e6. Rook d7, bishop f5, this is just one of the possible lines. So if the rook goes anywhere on the 7th rank, for example rook g7, then queen to c8 is devastating for black. So here rook to d8, but white simply takes the pawn on f6. So Svitler will be up 2 pawns with a big attack on black's king. A great game from Svitler and a much needed confident booster for him. Now the match is tied at one all, with 4 games remaining. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, share or leave a like. Until then, see you in the next video.